Hey guys, I know you're wondering, what am I doing here in a field? Well, this beauty, this beauty right here drew me here. No, I'm just kidding. This beauty here is my 1966 Chevrolet C20. And I know you guys are thinking to yourselves, what? I thought you, I thought it was blue. Well, it used to be blue. It used to look just like this. And I can't express to you guys enough how excited I am that it's finally done. This truck was in the paint shop for five and a half months. And before that, I spent oh, a year and a half or so getting it ready just for paint. I mean, I sanded that frame down. I went and bought a new bed over at Street Machinery. And you wouldn't know it, but this truck, this truck isn't brand new. No, of course not, it's a 66. But it also used to look like a complete pile. Now, I mean, from far away, it looked really good. But when you got up close, you could tell that that restoration that was done on it wasn't all that good. In fact, I actually thought when I first purchased this truck that it was all original. And I was, I was unfortunately very mistaken. Uh, it's not original. I don't know if the miles are. I believe the miles could still be because the frame itself and the cab were in very good shape. But the bed, the bed was pretty rough and I had to scrap it. I know some of you guys are probably cringing after seeing that, but I had to be done. I mean, I'm not gonna leave it around, nobody's gonna buy it. And I made a couple bucks to put towards the new bed and the overall restoration of this truck. And I think it turned out great, guys. I'm, I'm gonna take you along for that ride. If you guys are interested in how this truck came to be, go ahead and click or tap that screen right now. That's the playlist all about this build. There you can see it from start to finish. You'll see how much of a true transformation this truck has really gone through. When the body shop called me to come pick the truck up, they told me the battery was dead. Something was going on with the wiring. So I enlisted the help of my father and we went to U-Haul, we grabbed a trailer and we headed on out. Once we got there, they actually had the truck running and I was able to drive it up on there. My dad had to help me, you know, direct me on there because there was no mirrors on the truck at the time. Once I got it up on there, we headed home and I surprised my grandfather with it. Now my grandfather had no idea what I was gonna do he knew I was going to have it painted, but I don't think he knew I was going to have it painted green to match the company colors. The color that he and my grandmother picked out. It was really cool to hear that history. To see my grandfather's face light up when he got to see this tribute truck to the family business, well, that made it all worth it. All that frustration, pain, anger, all that stuff that goes into building one of these. Seeing his face really, really made it all, all worth it right there. If you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And just like that, we'll get into it. Okay. I don't know where to go here. It's pretty packed. But I think that's gonna be my trailer right there. I'm gonna leave a truck right here for now. I'm gonna go in and pick it up. Do, do the same thing, just take a quick picture of it. guys it took a minute but we're hooked up ready to go and now we're on the road let's go pick this bad boy up let's 
got to be the worst case scenario. Rain as I'm picking up a truck with a brand new paint job. Okay, we're pulling up. Let's see what it looks like. Little Mayflower trailer. There she is. Oh man, that looks great. I knew that steering wheel would look great like that. Look good? Where are the holes for the beer? I have to do that myself.
time to get this show on the road here. So. Looks like it's locked down, ready to roll, but we'll see. Laying on the side of the road. No, we don't. Made it back. Looking really good right here. Looks nice. Looks so nice. the I'm gonna spray paint the wheels to match the top. They gave me some rattle can. This is oh, a it's a cream, color. It's a cream yeah. versus the, the white. regular white, but and that, that open the door, check it out. What do you see when you, you got the samples? Yep. How about that steering wheel? It'll be black before you know it. <laughs> this is next. Yep, yep. That's next. Who does those today? I don't know, but I'll figure it out. And you got the mats, right? Yeah, the mats. All but right. I got them to do the entire inside, and I think it looks really nice. What are these about? There, there is a trim that goes there. Oh, you have that? Yeah, all that's okay. just trim that goes right there. and. Yeah, the seat was out. Mm -hmm. Armor? Yeah, there's an armrest for it. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna put the floor in after lunch. Why did we go with this color to begin with? What 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 made you? Did you pick it out? Did Grandma pick it out? Grandma picked it out. Was it like her favorite color? Yeah, we wanted something different from the other company. It was blue, and we wanted to to have a distinguished color. And uh, we talked about it in green. And that's a nice green. Was it somebody's favorite color? Huh? Was it your favorite color or her favorite color? Yeah, green, yeah. Yeah, I like green. Yeah. Distinguished.
Thanks for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. We'll see you in the next one.